Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a roller coaster. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some paper and something and, to color with. Yeah, something to color with at the very end. You ready to start? Yes. We're going to start by drawing the people in our roller coaster. And we're just going to draw two kids, and they're going to be screaming really loud. Yeah. Let's first draw a U shape right here on the left side of our paper. So I'm going to draw it about this big. It's a really big U. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw their mouth. I'm going to draw a smaller U shape inside. And we're going to draw them screaming too. So let's turn that into a jelly bean shape. We're going to curve around and then connect back on the other side. And then you, Sometimes they ha well, you got to close your eyes, right? Because yeah. it's too scary. So I'm going to draw upside down use for the eyes. And then we can also draw an ear. So we'll draw the letter C on the left and a backward C over here on the right. Okay, now let's draw the awesome hair. I'm going to draw a zigzag line connecting the top of the U shape. Then let's draw the hair going crazy. So we're going to draw two lines, one on each side coming out from the ear, and we're going really fast. So let's draw more zigzag lines across and connect those <laughs> two lines together. It already looks like we're going super fast on a roller coaster. Yeah. And we can also <laughs> draw the tongue inside. Let's draw the other person on our roller coaster right next to him. Maybe this one is a girl. Let's draw another letter U for the face. Let's repeat the same steps. So let's draw a small U inside. And then let's draw the mouth open, it's screaming really big. So we'll draw a big jelly bean shape. Curve around and connect on the other side. And we can also draw the tongue inside and also the closed eyes. You could, <laughs> you could change your faces any way you want. Oh, we could add eyelashes too. And then let's draw the letter C for the ear and a backward C over here for the other ear. Let's draw her hair next. Let's draw a curve that comes up and then we're going to curve over to the other side. And then we can draw the top of her head. I'm going to draw an upside down U that comes around and connects to the other side. And then we could draw piggy tails. Maybe those are flying in the air. So I'm going to draw a curve like this. And then we can draw a, an S curve coming back and connecting. And we could also draw an upside down U. Maybe this is for the rubber band in her hair. We could, let's add one more. So let's draw another one going the other way. Curve coming up and then an S curve coming down. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time, then I'm going to draw the upside down U for the little rubber band in her hair. We did it, Jack. Well, we got two floating heads that are freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready to draw the roller coaster that they're sitting in. Let's first draw the seatbelt or the, or the part that comes down and keeps you in your seat, especially the ones that go oh, upside so, down. Yeah. yeah, the fun ones. So we're going to draw the letter U right here. Then let's draw another bigger letter U that comes around like this. Oh, I don't think you could really fit your head inside of that, but <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's super safe. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw the handle. I'm going to draw a oval shape for the handle and we'll draw another one over here on the right side. That's more fun to put your arms up in the air. So let's do that. We're going to start here and let's draw a line that comes down and then connect in to the, looks like a sideways V. This is for the short sleeve. Let's do the same thing over here on the right. Draw a sideways V. Then we're going to draw the arms coming out right next to the kid's head. So we're going to connect to the ear. And then we're going to imagine it going behind the ear and we're going to come up high above his head. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We're going to draw an arm right next to the line right next to his head, connect to the ear. Imagine that going behind the ear, coming right next to his hair and up above his head. Now let's draw his wrist. We're going to draw another line for the inside of his arm. 
on each side. Because we're drawing our kids facing us, and kind of like how we're facing our art friends, yes. and our arms were up above our head, look where our thumbs are. Yeah, they're the pointing, inside. yeah, they're pointing towards the inside. So let's draw our thumbs on the inside right here. We're gonna draw a sideways U. That's for the thumb. Then we're gonna come up high for one finger and draw an upside down U. Kind of looks like an upside down J. Then we're gonna add another finger and one more finger, we're just gonna fit three. And the last one's gonna connect to the wrist. When we draw cartoons, I like just adding four fingers. It just makes it a little easier. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here on the right hand. We'll draw it sideways, U for the thumb. We'll draw an upside down U or a J shape. Then let's add two more fingers, one. And then the last one connects into the wrist. That's pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the same thing for the other person, the girl that's over here on the right. Let's draw the seat belt first. We're gonna draw the inside U shape and we wanna try to make that the same size. Then we're gonna do the same thing. We'll draw an outside U shape for the rest of the seat belt. And then we're gonna draw then we're gonna draw a really tall oval for the handle, and we'll draw another one on the right side. All right, let's repeat all the same steps for her arms. We'll draw it sideways, V for this short sleeve. And this part will go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. Let's draw her arm coming up and connecting to her ear. Imagine it going behind her ear, coming up by her ponytail or her piggy tails. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Imagine it behind the ear coming up past her head. Now let's also draw the other side of her arm. Mine's overlapping quite a bit, but you could start down here and draw her other arm. I'm gonna start here, I'll go up past her, her piggy tail. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. Her thumb is gonna be behind her, her hair, so I'm gonna imagine it going behind and coming back. And then we're gonna draw her fingers. One, two, three. Then the same thing over here on the right side. We can draw her thumb next. If you don't have any overlapping, you could draw, yeah, just like that. And then you could draw the other part of her thumb coming back and then her fingers upside down you. Another one and then one more connecting into her wrist. Now we're ready to draw the roller coaster. Let's first draw a curve coming right underneath both of our people. And then we're gonna draw the front of the roller coaster. I'm gonna draw a letter U that comes down like this, over, and then we're gonna curve back up on the right side and connect. Let's extend both sides past that line and then connect to our kids or the people. It's armpits. Yeah, they're armpits. <laughs> we could also draw little lines to connect their bodies into the roller coaster. Then let's draw the back of the roller coaster. I'm gonna draw a line that connects the two people together. We could also draw another one right here. And maybe we could also draw seats. I'm gonna draw another line down on each side. Let's draw the bottom of our roller coaster next. I'm gonna draw another kind of curve that comes down and then connects back up. What should we draw next? The track. Yeah, let's do it. First, let's draw the track coming out from the bottom of our roller coaster. So I'm gonna draw two lines coming out like this. Then let's draw another one right next to it on each side. Let's add another line right next to it. Maybe this one is closer. Next, let's draw the cross beams that are holding the tracks together. So I'm gonna draw, that makes the track look like a ladder. Yeah. I'm gonna draw two right here, and then I'm gonna draw two more just below that. I like turning my paper sideways. Sometimes that helps draw straight lines. This next part we're gonna fast forward, but you can pause the video and take extra time to design your own roller coaster. Maybe it even goes upside down.
Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our roller coaster. It turned out super cool. What do we still need to do to our drawing? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. Or you can color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it. We finished coloring our drawings, our roller coasters. I love your drawing so much. Thank you. I like your drawing too. <laughs> Thanks. I hope our art friends are going to take time to color their drawings also. You could also add more things to the background. Yeah, you could add more of the track. You could also add other rides and maybe even birds flying by because you're so <laughs> because you're so high up in the air. We're like an airplane. We hope you have fun drawing your roller coaster. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.